I'm at the Ginny residence uh, looking to replace the AC unit for this uh, upflow furnace, which is next to this downflow furnace. Uh, it's a D width furnace. The coil is turned 90 degrees on it, and they currently have a Looks like a like a C width. I don't know if it's too much of a clear from the but it's twenty and a half inches. So at least that's what the plenum is. The coil's probably close to that. So we can go back uh, with a D width. Uh, the plenum's only. Only 19 inch wide plenum. So, not a bad idea turning it 90 degrees like that. So, maybe we'll do the same thing and use a C width coil. Um, lines are go up above the drywall ceiling. So, uh, they currently have a leak in the system. So, I told them, you know, we could do the coil and the condenser, but the lines we couldn't guarantee pressure until we actually do our own pressure test then if they still didn't hold then we will uh, talk about tearing out drywall but at this point we'll just replace the condenser and the evaporator Not everything's drywalled so uh, units are out here on the ground we'll go outside and have a look at that Okay, now we're outside at the Ginny residence. Um, condensers sit up here on this little landscaped area. We can get the condense, new condenser up those steps and up through here. A couple old units. Uh, the one we're actually looking at is this train. Lines are buried in the ground. Uh, and what we got here, a little sub panel. Uh, general electric breakers. Years old, four ton. Yeah, as much uh, landscape's been done around here, I wouldn't be confident in those lines. Whoever was out here from our company said that they it wouldn't hold pressure. So, um, yeah, come up and go through here. 